Hi, good day. Welcome to Preston Technology, your partner in assembly solution. Many of us understand the importance of torque control during the fastening process. And yes, many of us also understand the importance of collecting the data during assembly process, which the data can be passed along to the MES or ERP system for fully automated reporting and batch handling. What if your workstation is a standalone type like this? Do you know who is operate the workstation? How can you trace back the lot or the batch that having a rejection from your customer claim? Well, we do have the solution for all of it. Let me share our proposed solution to our client who specialize in machine lighting. The application is to fasten both screw and the torque requirement is 0.3 newton meter. This is our HMI between the controller and PC. First step at this device ID, we can insert the product name. For this case is LBS3. Then the lot number. Let's put today's date. Lastly, the user ID. Once all three conditions is complete, press start log to activate the smart tools. The system will automatically load the product setting parameter into the controller. Alternatively, we can integrate a barcode reader to retrieve all the necessary information instead of manually key in the info. This may reduce human error. Okay, now let's test with the first screw. The tightening condition is good, it shows OK. Now let's go for a second screw. And it's OK also. Both screw status will be logged into the PC. Consider the process is finished. Click the end lock to end lock the section. The system will automatically generate a TXT format report file every time the operator end lock. Let's go to the designated folder. The report is saved as the lot number and device ID that we key in earlier on. As you can see here, the report recorded who and when he accessed to the workstation. The report includes the date, time, fastening time, talk, status, etc. The report can be converted to the Excel format for further process study. Thank you for watching. I do hope this solution do help your assembly process. Please subscribe to our channel for latest model assembly techniques. See you again. Bye.